heard, so this is our valve body to this 48RE. So I figure we'll open this thing up, go through it. Uh, actually, 3-4 accumulator that goes in here is out already in the piston and the cover. Uh, so we're going to open this thing up. We're put new electronics in. We've got to drill this hole out of this plate. So, and this again had water in it. So we're going to start by taking this, this cover from here. I want to make sure this is nice and clean. This is just a cover. You know, you take that cover off, nothing's really going to fall out. Okay, this cover is going to take off. This is when we got to drill. We got to drill this out to 69 thousandths. Okay, now we're going to take this harness out. This harness is going to be changed. Disconnect the governor's solenoid. All right, I'll lift up on this here. Sir. So this uh, piece should come off, but it's probably stuck on there from the gasket. Uh, let me get a hand in here and see if I can knock this thing out. Knock it loose. Okay. The uh, governor solenoid goes in here, the transducer goes in here. There's a gasket here that we're going to have to get off. Okay, so now we're going to take the harness out. There's three T25 small little bolts in here. We're going to get this, uh, this boost tube out, so we're going to bend these tabs back. Okay, and take this out. Now we're going to take the bolts out and separate everything.
get all these out. Okay, so I'm just going to slide. There's no check balls in this section, so we can just slide this out. here. Okay, now we're going to have a little tiny check ball in the corner, and I'll show you the spot later, but it's a little tiny check ball right in here. You don't want to lose it. It's much smaller than the normal size. Okay, and now we're going to lift the plate out. There's another channel plate, this is bolted together. Screen. And here's your main valve body. <clears throat> All right, so actually what I'll do, these are gonna clean up. And you can see pieces, uh, I mean, uh, um, some antifreeze here from the water that was in here. So let's take this apart. Here's this little tension plate. Here's the separator plate. The screen definitely comes out. Okay, here's the separator plate. And you have two check balls. You have a um, uh, like a hard plastic one here and you have a steel one here and the reason why they changed this one this used to be steel in the early units but it used to beat the hell out of this plate right here with this hole so actually sometimes even when a steel check ball comes out on earlier ones you can you can put one of these back in to try to save the plate but I do think one if you ever had a change, and I think Transgo may have one of these plates. Okay, so we'll take the two check balls out of here. Here's the screen. And this has one, two, three, four, five, six, six check balls here. I'll show you those locations when we're going back together with it. I'm sorry, this has seven check balls. Okay, so I'm just gonna clean this stuff up, do my usual thing. Flat sand, the three hams, clean everything up. Wanna make sure I get all the water and crap out of there. And then I'll be back and we'll uh, do check ball locations and put this back together. So I'll be back shortly. All right, just a quick shot of the valve body apart. Anytime we got some water intrusion, I like to take the valves out just to make sure everything is clean and nice and free. All right, so I put the aluminum pieces in the tank, clean them up real nice, and I'm gonna just stick the valves back in, and then we're gonna reassemble this valve body. So I'll be back in a few. All right, so I got the valve body all cleaned up. I got the valves back in. Everything is nice and free, and everything is nice and clean. All right, so we're going to do the reassembly of the valve body. Uh, we're going to start with the, um, uh, they call the transfer plate, or if you want a channel plate. Here's the separator plate for that. All right, now this section of the valve body uh, takes two check balls. Okay, so we have the steel one, steel one here, and the vitin or the hard plastic one is going to go up here in the corner. All right, now as far as this check wall up here in the corner goes, you want to look at your separator plate because not all models are going to take it. Most of them do. But pretty much the way you tell if you have two holes, if you have two holes right here, it takes a check wall. 
If you have one hole here, it does not take a check hole. That's pretty much how you tell. Okay, now this screen came in the kit and I would normally put this screen in. It's a little different style screen, but it doesn't really fit that well. Um, because this screen actually gets snapped in. Uh, so we're going to put this screen, I cleaned it up, and it's all intact, it looks okay. So we're gonna put this one back in. Normally, it wouldn't be snapped in either, it would just slide right, right in. But when I was trying it, it wasn't sitting right. So that screen is in now. All right, so we're going to put this flat. And this is sitting okay. All right, we have our little tension plate here. We're going to put on. out of place because when you put the three halves together the bolts got to go all the way down. So we're going to take two valve body bolts and these are the lineup holes. So one is going to go there and one is going to go there. Okay now we proceed to tighten these down. steel one comes out, kind of to save the plate from getting beat up, I, you know, I file it flat and try to get it smooth, so, because most of the time with the steel check ball, it's beat up and you can change it and put one of those in. Okay, so, this looks good. Okay, so pretty much next, we're going to put the check balls in here and reassemble this valve body. So, I'm going to just get install these check balls and I'll give you a close up. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so there's a total of seven. All right, let me just give you a close up of that and I'll point them out. Right, here's a close up of the valve body. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Those are the check balls and the main valve body. All right, so that were the check wall locations. All right, the next we have the um, transfer plate or channel plate. And this we're just going to kind of lay right on top, make sure the holes are lined up. Okay, actually, you know, let me take this back off. I want to show you something. This area right here. Um, on the later models, you're going to have a tiny, tiny check ball. That's the one that says do not lose. And on some earlier models, uh, you're not going to have that. So that's something that you want to look for, whether it may be there or not, because you don't want to lose that. All right, we have the little check ball. We're going to put in place. Okay, now we have our separator plate for the lower valve body. And then we have the lower valve body. This primarily consists of 3-4 shift valve, uh, other functions for the 3-4, and uh, converter clutch valves. Like for instance, uh, when I say other functions for the 3-4, 3-4 uh, quick fill throttle, 
plug, valve, and spring. A uh, three-four timing valve. All right, so let's put this in place. Okay, and then what we're going to do is we're going to go to the liner poles that you know they're a little smaller than the regular ones, and the bolts just fit snug in there. And let's get these in. Make sure everything's lined up here. Make sure it's not. So we got three different lengths here. The middle one is the common one. There's going to be a lot of these that are going to go in this section here. Okay, you got the little long one that actually, this filter only takes two bolts, but on earlier models, you have the flat Dacron filter that takes three bolts. So this bolt will go in one of the filter holes, like for an earlier unit. So that's going to go there. And then the shorter one goes back here. Sometimes the shorter one on some models, it's the same length as, as, as all of them. But this particular one is shorter, so that goes there. And then the rest are all the same length. And they can just go in. All right, so now we gotta take this back out. So put this in. Then we'll put this in here. Okay. Now let's tighten these down. Torque these down about 70 inch pounds, starting from the middle. I'm working way way out, way out. Now we're going to do the 3 4 accumulator. Okay, I got new, uh, new rings on here. You know, new seals. I'm going to drop this right in. And let's get that cover along with the bolts.
make sure these are tight. You know, these, uh, as I was saying before, these sensors, those two sensors go bad a lot, the governor pressure solenoid and the transducer. So when we see that, we actually do repairs versus, uh, you know, selling them a whole transmission. We sell them like a valve body overhaul because we've got to change those two solenoids. And also while we're at it, I take the plate off, I check the spring because uh, a lot of times, like I said, the spring is broken. This particular time it's not, but more than half, the spring definitely breaks. All right, now we're gonna flip this over. I'm gonna put this plate back on. Okay, so this goes just like that. I like to take these plates off. Nothing falls out when you take this plate out. Uh, just to make sure everything is nice and clean. have a little boost plate here we're going to drill a hole to 69 thousandths and I just wanted to have an added note this spring retainer here um, likes to break and Sonics does have replacement you buy them a bag of five I actually have some here because this likes to break as well so I did want to let you know that okay so I got my drill set up and we're going to drill Okay. All right, then I just like to file it so there's no edges. I don't like I don't like the, the edges. So we're just gonna run this over real quick. can put this on. Okay. And this is going to go just like that. Put the three bolts in. tube in. Okay. And then we're going to bend these up. in. All right, now the next thing is this seal. All right, so up here by the linkage, up here, right here, there is this seal. And then you have this piece and a clip to hold it in. And the seal um, goes in just like that. 
you know, it's solid on this side. The solid part of the seal is going to go down. So we're going to change that. Okay. So this seal will go in here. You know, again, with the water, everything gets swelled up. So I like to make sure everything gets changed. So we're going to put our washer on, and then we're going to put our clip. Okay. All right. Now I just got to run. Make a run real quick, and when I get back, I'm going to put the harness on, I'm going to route it, I'm going to put the uh, electronics on, and complete up this uh, valve body. Alright, so I will be back shortly. Alright, so we will continue. I'm going to put this uh, harness on. Normally, I don't change this particular harness. I mean, it depends on what codes or what's going on, but for the most part, they're pretty good. But, you know, again, with the water, I don't like to use it. And this guy, this guy probably changed the fluid. I mean, he did a good job. He probably changed the fluid about 10 times. And when we were driving this, uh, it actually, I mean, it actually worked good. But, being the fact that it did have it, uh, I don't really care to use it over again. You know, we filled this with fluid because, of course, that tail was all cracked up, so we just filled it just so we can drive it and get it into the shop because I have it on my drive-on lift. That was the only one available. It's still, uh, you know, pretty steady busy, which is a good thing. And it's normally slow this time of year. All right, so let's uh, flip this over. And we're going to put... sensors in and I think that's about it okay so this will go in here and this kind of gets rounded along just like that all right so I'll uh, take care of that when the filter goes on So now we have move this out of the way. Now we have our gasket that's going to go here. Okay. And then our little mounting piece for the uh, solenoids. So what we'll do. boxes these uh, this is all always stuff so I'll put the one in here okay we're gonna set we'll set the other one in here because we have to put this on and this is gonna hold this solenoid down and this solenoid goes into here and it gets held down like that so we're gonna slide it into the groove Actually, we're gonna 
Okay, so, and then once we got it in place, push down, and that's in. This you can move to any how, how you want. All right, so this is gonna go on. And then you have four valve body bolts that go in, but obviously you can't put those in now. So we have these to go in. this in. And we're going to pull this back out, pull the lock out, plug it in, push the lock in. Okay, and then we have our two wire governor solenoid. Just plug that in and that's locked in. Okay, so this is locked in. These two are good. Okay, well, we've got nothing left on the rig. So this is your 48RE valve body. This is complete. So that's about it for this one. And then the filter, you know, would go right here with the two bolts. But again, we're going to put the, uh, once we get the uh, unit together, we'll put these on. I torque these bolts down to about 100 inch pounds. Put the filter and pan on um, and that's about it all right guys i thank you for watching and uh you guys have a great day